So we're here at the Supercomputing Conference, and uh, who are you? I'm Sly Hammond, I work out of Sandia National Labs. So what is the Sandia National Labs? Uh, well, we're a DOE facility based in uh, New Mexico in the United States, uh, high performance computing and uh, lots of engineering problems. So uh, do you work on all kinds of uh, what the future of supercomputing is going to be about? Yeah, so we're busy working on uh, DOE's exascale vision uh, at the moment, so that's uh, technology that should be around in the early 2020s. Uh, lots exascale. Of exascale, yeah. That's so, like a vision people would like to like reach some kind of, what does it mean? So it's a thousand uh, times faster than petascale, uh, so that's loads and loads and loads of calculations every uh, every second, and uh, most of that means just really fast uh, simulations. So a thousand times, think about a thousand times faster to solve the same science problems. But aren't some people saying this is not going to happen? It's not uh, some people are saying that, but we're working our hardest to make it happen, and uh, we're pretty confident we're, we're going to going to get there. Um, so how fast is the fastest supercomputer right now? Uh, it's about 20 petaflops, so we've got about 50x to go. So we've got it's a long way to so go. 20, like, is that the Chinese one? Is it 20? Uh, Chinese, well, yeah, the, the largest DOE is 20. Um, what is DOE? The Department of Energy, so that's the largest one. American? For us it's 20, it's yeah. American one. Yeah, in so China they're 20? In China they're at about 100, so they've only got 10 times to go. And uh, so you're going to do 50 times faster in the next five years? Uh, hopefully before then. Yeah. Before then, so that's faster than Moore's law, right? What do you call uh, it? Yeah. Uh, Sandia's law. What do you call it? Yep, faster than Moore's law. Yep. So We're, is it because you hard. don't? Is it because you don't focus on floating point as much? You don't care about the floating point. You're doing all kinds of other specialized processing, or there's nothing to do with that. How do you architect the, the supercomputer? Sure. Um, well, there's a lot that goes into that, right? So we think a lot about our applications and our workload. And then we're trying to make uh, all of the components that that needs. So that's memory, that's processor, that's networking. Um, we need to make all of those go faster. Because if, if we can only make one of them go faster, we'll get a bit of an improvement, but we won't get to where we need to be. So it's a, it's a question about taking all of those pieces and making them all go faster together so it's balanced. If it's not balanced, it won't work. So you synchronize the, the, the technology somehow. One doesn't, it's not good if well, one goes too fast. Yeah, we're but looking for improvements in every area. So, uh, you know, vendors are really good at doing one of the, one piece of that. We need to do memory and we got to do networking as well. So we got to work right across the board with everybody. So you're building something that has the biggest memory bandwidth in the world? That's what we're hoping for. So how big is it going to be? Um, so I can't give you real numbers yet, but they're gonna, it's going to be big. So, a big amount. So think about it. We're looking for 50 times faster than the machines we've got today, and we'd like to do better than that. And it's so going to fit in like a, a small, number. small data center. Where's it going to fit? No, these are big data centers. It's going to be big, like it's big like this. Size of a football pitch. Football pitch. Oh yeah, this is a Broncos game right now. Yep. All right. Well, we could take them all yep. off and put our supercomputer down instead. All right. So uh, uh, here at the supercomputing conference, is uh, do you think it's going to be exciting? Uh, what people are showing, talking about here? Uh, what's sure. going on at this conference? Um, we're expecting some new machine announcements this week. Um, there should be some. Uh, some new announcements on hardware. Can't talk about what those are yet, but uh, basically start tomorrow on the show floor. Uh, pretty exciting stuff. There'll be some new machines in the top 500, new machines on HPCG, which is a benchmark. Um, so we're pretty excited. It's going to be a busy week. And how many people work together with you in, the, in that center where you are? Uh, so we've got about between about 100 and 200 people working on that stuff at Sandia, but there's, there's other DOE labs, there's six DOE labs involved in Exascale across the country. So think about it, like a thousand people. Thousand people working on the future of HPC, the future of supercomputing. Yep. Yeah, and, uh, and that's important for everything in society, right? Uh, health, uh, everything. Yeah. And if you think future, about these big the machines, right? You know, a big machine from 10 years ago is now at the universities, and the students are using that to solve problems. So everything we do at the high end eventually ends up, you know, businesses and industry and designing the next aircraft and all these kind of things. So it ends up in the smartphone. It, 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 yeah, it does. So the smartphones right now, if you go back like 25 years. A smartphone today is faster than that supercomputer.